Odyssey Mobius. Ta-da! Okay. Um, we thank you for your purchase of the Odyssey Mobius headset, and we will try to make it as awkward as possible going through the manual and looking at it and controlling everything. So, so what I'll announce, these will probably end up in the yard sale. And it's not for bad reasons, it's just because I don't have a need for them. If you don't know what the yard sale is, I'm going to pimp myself a little bit. If you join the Patreon, which supports this channel and its expensive endeavors, um, you can buy things that I'm done reviewing. So whatever month this is, that this has just come out, if it's October or November, the very 1st to the 10th of the next month, you can literally offer me $8 for these, and I'll ship them to you. In any country you live in, you pay half the shipping if it's international. Just to, that's, that's the end of my pimp speech, all right? There's good reasons to be on the Patreon. These are not really Odyssey headphones. Not really. I mean, look, they're planars and they're closed back. You could see that they're planars. You could pop this out. If you try grasp this. Ah! You could see, look, planar with uh, plastic phasers, I guess is what I would call that. I mean, they're not really shaped 100% like a phaser should be shaped. And what's funny is you could see that there's definitely spots. It looks like they wanted to put magnets to make this just pop off with magnets. Then they didn't. They made it so it just, it just, that's fine. Uh, one of the big things about Odyssey is it's always made in America. And these are not at all. The drivers are made in America, I think. I think they make the drivers, but everything else is Chinese. Um, and that's not to say that's bad. It's just that I think if this headphone was made completely in America, it would cost about eight or nine hundred dollars. This is I reviewed the pre-production of the Vocal Erupts, right? And I fucking love them. And I funded that go that that Indiegogo to like two hundred something percent because they're amazing headphones. And that's all they are, is amazing headphones. The fact that they are gaming just means they're putting a microphone on it. Boom, you had a microphone, all of a sudden any headphone becomes a gaming headphone, done. What Odyssey has done is instead of going and building like a fucking amazing headphone, which they do make amazing headphones, Odyssey makes amazing headphones. They just bought all the technology in the world. All of it. All the technology in the world. Just, just, just shoveled it into the trunk of a fucking 1988 Monte Carlo and drove it into the factory and then just went, I don't know, shove this and this and this and this and this. Uh, I have to get something off that desk in a second because we're going to talk about 3D and um, Waves and X and things like that. Let's talk about them as a headphone first. Should I mention if you should buy them? I absolutely think these four, and I don't know the final price because here's the thing, it's supposed to be about $400. And I think I got, I got these on the Kickstarter. I bought these with the Patreon money on the Kickstarter as soon as it launched. I was like, gimme. And they were like, oh, it'll be there in June. Then in September, they actually arrived. So that's Kickstarter for you. And I'm, I'm also team bronze, gold, bronze, copper, copper, team copper. Um, pull that up for a second. Headphones, build quality, plastic. I mean, some would say that it's as good as some other Odyssey headphones. A lot of hate for the EL8s uh, and their build, even though I thought they were tanks, but apparently they shatter if you get the wrong set. See, it says NX right there, because it's got the NX technology built in, and we'll talk about that and how I contacted the company. It's, it's a nice, feel. look, for plastic, they feel really nice. Just this bit here bothers me. It's real, like, that's the cheapest part, is this bit. What they didn't get wrong is comfort. You see how much clamp they've got? Well, it's they, they default to that wide. And they've got a nice, decent sized pad here. And some people were complaining to me about the pads around the headphone, and I'm like, they're not bad. Like, they're really comfortable. Like, I'm gonna compare these, and this is might be sacrilege. Motorcycle, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna compare these to other Bluetooth headphones. First and foremost, let's call them Bluetooth headphones. Are they better than most Bluetooth headphones? Yes. 
I'm talking about Sony's, I'm talking about Bose. I'm talking about those sorts of things. Even the M&O's that I was, I was you know, gushing over, because they're RBH HP2's. But those are $150, and these are almost three times that price, now that you can buy them. But they are planar. They're a closed back planar. The reason I bought them is because it's a, it was on Kickstarter, a $250 closed back planar. Currently on Amazon, they are unavailable. So I don't know what the finalized price is going to look like. They make a weird sound, and I don't think that's on purpose. They're very comfortable. They're a little bit cup heavy, which you'll understand why in a second, because I have to describe what's in these. So power button, mute switch for the microphone. Nothing on this side, by the way. I, I just, I have a thing for like balance. Like it, it's, um, I feel a lot like, uh, like Thanos, where I want balance in the universe. So if you're gonna give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switches and buttons and inputs on one side maybe you should put four on this and four on this i don't know it's just me i mean it's got everything even the microphone plugs into this it's just everything so this side's probably containing the battery because they are connected across some with magic mic mute power there's a cheat sheet don't lose this cheat sheet because every single fucking function and button and switch and even the, the knobs push in and then you hold them for different things. It's just, you need this. You need to learn this. I had to learn this. It's like it's going to school. So, 3D button, microphone connection. Here's your USB, USB-C, thank you. Auxiliary in. That's microphone volume and that's headphone volume. Simple enough. Now, if you look at the cheat sheet, Power button, also known as play pause, also known as begin Bluetooth pairing, also known as reject call and power off. It's actually the simplest button. I think power people can handle. Turn it on, double press it to pair, et cetera, et cetera. 3D button. Now I'm gonna get to what the 3D is actually doing in a second, but all you have to know is this has um, basic functions, like it'll change the source, you could center with it, and you could set the different modes for 3D. That's what that button does. Now the USB-C charges it, these have to be on. There are some headphones that you, you get that are self-powered and Bluetooth and everything. And then if the battery dies, you can still use them. You could still hook them up to any amplifier or your phone or, and they'll still work. These are not that type. These need power. These means the battery needs to be charged. And if you're gonna use it USB, then that's fine because then it's powering it off the computer or phone. And you could disable charging, but I've only been able to do that once. It's weird. Um, so you can't get these after six months sitting in a drawer and they've died and use them with an auxiliary cable or Bluetooth. You have to, they have to have power. Uh, auxiliary is nice and simple. Look, look at the good old aux port. I wish my phone had one of those. And then you get the microphone, clicky clicky, and then it clicks in and then you get the volume and then it clicks in. So the mute microphone switch just has one option, mute the microphone. The headphone volume wheel, you scroll it to change the volume, and again, it's all on this side. It's actually easy to find. I, I've had some hard times with other things where they're, they're like up here, like those V motors I reviewed. The buttons were here, which was like, oh, that's good for balance, but it was like it's in the wrong spot because it kept doing that every time I pushed the button. So the volume knob is nice and easy to find on the back. It's the top one right by the hinge. You can't miss it. And when you press it in, because it'll go click in, and then scroll, it'll change tracks. So like a Bluetooth headphone would be, have like a next track, last track. This has a, a headphone volume. Then you go click in, click, and next track. Click in, click, next track. Or click in, click backwards, last track. That's actually really clever. It makes it one wheel. A wheel's better than buttons for volume every day. Good. Um, then if you Double click, it links back to the last Bluetooth host. So you could have a switch between, if you're Bluetoothing from your phone and you're Bluetoothing from your laptop or your computer, you can go click, click, and it'll bounce back and forth between two different hosts. The microphone volume wheel. Scroll changes volume of the microphone. So if you're too loud, your friends are like, lower your shit, you're fucking screaming, asshole. You lower it down. It'll also play yourself back. Um, single click, short press, and scroll changes the EQ preset, and that's why we have the book open. Because this has built-in EQs for quote-unquote gaming. Because remember, this is a gaming headset. 
And so you click that in and you scroll it once and it starts, comes from default. And default is eco preset tuned by Odyssey's house curve. And I can tell you exactly what that sounds like because the very last thing on here is flat, which is no EQ, which is just play the drivers, which I prefer. By the way, spoiler alert, I prefer no house curve. Then you get footsteps, which enhances the footsteps, sneaking by. This is a, this book is very like, it's got sketches and it's like, where's one of the things it says? Uh, it's like, it's time for some advanced tactics. For those brave and experienced, these controls will add further efficiency to your travels throughout the space of audio. Mobius is the true Omni tool. Use it wisely and don't mix up your buttons. I could just hear Mike from Red Letter Media making fun of the book that this is coming with. So you get default, EQ, footsteps, ballistics, music, racing, RPG, and flat. And they all do something, because these, these are surround sound headphones. But that's, let me explain. I've explained it before. I have a gaming video that's explained it again. There's only two drivers in this, just like there's only two speakers on my desk, just like most headphones just have two things. And you can mm, fake surround sound but not 7.1 there's no center channel is just both things play and it sounds middle and you have left and right then if you want to make something sound like it's coming from behind you you add a slight delay and change the you invert the frequency not the hold on you invert the phase so if you don't know what phase inversion is and normally when a, a, someone hits a bass drum it's like boom and it goes pop out if you want to invert the phase you hit the boom and it goes in and it just changes the timing a little bit. And that can actually make things sound lost and behind you. So that's how they get rear. But there's no point one either because there's no sub for attached. So really, it shouldn't be 7.1. It should be a fake 4.0. Because you don't need a center. No one listens to music on two speakers and goes, God, I wish I had a center channel for vocals. No, you get perfectly centered vocals if your speakers are good so you get perfectly centered vocals in every fucking headphone on earth because it's stereo and you put the same signal through both and you get center so you don't need a center so it's very hard to advertise to to people that it's got surround sound 4.0 what all right whatever 7.1 fuck it fuck it fuck it put the big big thx logos on it and shit um so that's the EQs that are available. And they're actually interesting. I like them better, on, honestly, because here's the thing. I, do, I did gaming on this blatantly, and I did music on it because that's what I know more than what, what games sound like. I could play Doom for an hour, then switch an EQ and play Doom for another hour and go, oh, but then I'm gonna, if I wanna do racing, do I load up R Factor? One, R Factor one, R Factor two is still great. And I'm not gonna have a fight with, with sim racing people, but. You go through all of EQs and find and find. So then, then the microphone wheel also has a long press. So after the EQ preset, where you press it once and scroll and press it once and scroll, you can go forward and backwards. Then there's a long press. I'm still on this. And the long press of the microphone wheel changes the audio mode from 7.1 to two channel to high res. I have not a fucking idea what high res does. Because if I go from two channel to high res, there's a slight sound difference, like some some of the highs get up there. But um, and then when you put it on through analog, when you plug it in, and by the way, this is not the cable it came with. This video, if you own the Odyssey Mobius, you're gonna watch this video so you can go into the links in the description and buy better fucking. Ca Look at this, all right? Look, Odyssey. I know you had to go to China to have them put these together. You wouldn't be able to afford it. But for the love of fucking God, no! Here's your reminder. Talk to Ethan Chan on Discord. Okay, Alexa, stop. I gotta get on Discord in, in half hours, so I need to, like, finish this. This is a no. It's, this is the worst. It's a four-pole, so that you can plug it in your phone. But, um, so I, I'll link in the description a four-pole if you want, but that's just useless. I'll also link... If you're just gonna go auxiliary, you just wanna use it. These are much better. These are the status audio cables. Look at them. Look at them. Mmm, the sex of these. The sex of this flat cable. So let's plug that in. Has this shut off automatically? It hasn't received signal in a while. That's not blinking blue. That means it's off. Hold it down for a second. Pa 
Power on aux. She talks to you. The headphones obviously talk to you because everything talks to you. So I've memorized that. Let's talk about things. Since it's got its own built-in amplifier, you don't really need a good amplifier. But I've got it plugged into my tube amps for shits and giggles. My dark voice with the added big ass tube. Um, and you do pick up a flavor of a tube amp. And what I do is I max this out. Wait for it. Here you go. Buh, 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 buh. And then I can put on music. And that's sort of like treating them like a normal headphone. That's just like Hero of the Day. Childish Gambino. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, something's. Wait. Hold on. 3D Auto. 3D Auto. Hold on. Wait. 3D Auto. Okay. If I'm judging these headphones for music and sound quality, all the tech shit has to be off. Off. So let's see. Let's go through the. Hold on. Footsteps. Nope. Don't want that one. Nope. Music. Nope. Racing. RPG. Nope. Flat. Yes, flat. 3D enhancements off, flat EQ. Listening to these, very enjoyable. Super enjoyable. Like, I'd rather listen to these than Bose uh, QC35s, than the Sony MDR1000s, as just straight up fucking headphones. These. Now issue is with what's currently going on is they're running off of battery because I'm running them off of auxiliary but this is like this is the way I, I like the way they sound on this now you could plug them in with USB power and then hit that button to switch to just this or we could abandon tubes now keep in mind the tubes are not powering the headphones the tubes are sending signal to the amplifiers built into the headphones, so it's not really a tube sound because it's not drawing. But then again, these are planars, and they don't usually work on tubes like this, so this might be even a better solution. All right, yanked. Bluetooth immediately comes on. It says Bluetooth. Now, they work like a Bluetooth headphone when you put on Bluetooth. That's it. They get the next track, last track, play, pause. All that shit works. Let's talk about this for a second USB. it says USB so now we are currently and I don't want to die so I'm gonna lower the volume and you can see my Windows volume is being lowered by the scroll wheel on this lower more lower more because my I cannot get oh Jesus sensor I paused it and there was a delayed echo because this every time you switch anything it tries to put it back on 3D audio, and either the, let me see if the house curve has changed. Hold on, let me see if it's taken it off of my EQ setting. That's this one. No, it's still on flat. It's still on flat. Thank God. Um, but if I'm doing music right now, just I need you to not be. Yeah, 3D auto. Hold on. I'll, I'm gonna rant in, in a bit about something that I'm, I'm a little bit pissy, and I'm pissy because the thing I wanted. They just kept ignoring me in all my requests, and then all of a sudden Ozzy comes out with this, and it's oh, that's why. So hold on. It might sound a little bit better like this. I love that this is good. In fact, I shut that off. I'm not going to use that again. In fact, if I'm going to swap this out, I'm going to pull this into the class A in case I do go back. I want to use class A, like A. Um. Shut everything off. You could tell these are fucking planars, and you could you could taste the Odyssey in them. You could taste it. Now I did the sound demo for these a while ago, before I'd actually worked through all the little ins and outs of them, just because I wanted to show it off, and I had the rig out and everything. Changes color now; it's red. Now it's flashing purple. Yeah, I don't know. So here's the shit. Remember when you could switch between the three different modes? 7.1, two channel, and high res. That is not just on the headphone. I plug them into the laptop here, 
Because the first time I plugged them into this particular laptop before this review, and I'm like, all right, I turned it on and I, I set up the sound device and I changed everything, and I switched it from 7.1 to the other setting, and everything changed and it, like disconnected. The music freaked out. Like, what the fuck? When you switch between the three different modes, the 7.1, the two channel, and the high res mode, a new sound device shows up every fucking time. Where is it? Hold on. I'll, I'll see if I could just demonstrate this real quick. Sounds playback. So right now, hooked up to this computer is 7.1 Mobius, right? If I, microphone, three second press. So let's see. Two Boom, disappears. Two channel, a completely different thing with a completely different icon shows up because I set it that way. Hold it again. High res, high res Mobius shows up with a completely different setting and completely different everything. It, it's the weirdest fucking thing. I've never had one sound device that shows up, it disappears and shows up brand new. So, if you hook this up to your computer, USB, you've got to turn it on and then change to every different mode, 7.1, stereo, and high res, and set up your Windows fucking in thing as a different device. So if you don't want it to use enhancements and you don't want it to have the and you want it to have you have to set all those up three times. Like I did. Because it's every time it switches, it switches. Every time it switches. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand. I did it. I got it all set up. Um I could not get it to on, on any of them, even the two channel, which appeared to be two channel. The other ones are like eight channels. We're eight channel, fucking forty-eight kilohertz or thirty-two bit. Whatever. I couldn't get it to use Wasapi, so it had to use direct sound because it was just FUBAR was going, nope, I ain't dealing with this shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm playing to. Just give me direct sound. So direct sound to this, which if you're a real heavy-duty audiophile, you're going to be like, no, Wasapi or, or die. Okay. Let me finish with sound quality. I gotta finish with sound quality. There's more shit to talk about than sound quality with these. How do they sound in games? Fucking amazing. They're, they're planars. They're closed back planars. They're cheap closed back planars, but they're still closed back planars. Do the Vocaler Ups beat them? Yeah, because the Vocaler Ups are something very special. These just sound like very good closed back planar little portable Bluetooth headphones. Yay! Um, Here's the microphone, right? So the microphone plugs in here. And I do like the build on the mic. I like the way you can bend it and straighten it out. Although it's been proven, and I, when I get to the uh, one more spearheads and talk about those, this doesn't need to be in front of your mouth. Modern microphone technology. You know where the microphone is currently that I'm talking to right this moment? It, I was going to take the camera off and try to show you the camera. I'm high. Uh, the top of the GoPro mounted above my head like up, is what's hearing my voice. Now, granted, that picks up a lot of room noise and things like that. You don't want that in gaming. But microphones are really sensitive. So putting a microphone just built into the unit here would do just as good a job as this microphone in front of your face. Like, if it was just like that. That would be fine. But no, nope, people won't think it's a gaming headset unless you put the microphone all the way in front of their face. That's what makes it good. So that's them knowing. And I know they know because one more knows. One more is like, yeah, we don't have a fucking microphone boom sticking out. That's dumb. We just put it right here. It's like two inches further back and we just attenuate for that but they still put a fucking stick that pops out because they need people need to see this or it's not a gaming headset i can't be a pro gamer ma ma i can't be a pro gamer it doesn't have the mic mom that'll end up in best of zeos frontier 4 which hasn't come out yet pasta loves those whoever made the one two and three please please come out with best of zeos frontier 4 less face reveals though poor girl <sighs> David Chesky, piano solo. No one was like, hey, I'm going to get Odyssey Mobius and play the piano solos from David Chesky. But I did. Microphone works decent, all right? What do you want me to say? It sounds like a microphone. It's not exceptional. It's got decent noise canceling. And I do like the build, regardless if it doesn't even need to be fucking sticking out of the fucking thing. Fuck. Um, we've talked about it through the computer. That's fine. Um, let's talk about the wiring again. Here is the janked as fuck cable it comes with which is i think too short most people's computers i mean i used to have my computer on my desk like here 
And then my monitor was there because my computer was sweet. Now I'm like, fuck, go in the corner and shut the fuck up, computer. Hey, computer, shut the fuck up. I don't need to see you. I don't need lights. I don't need RGB, none of that shit. Another crappy wire. This I will link in the description. Look at this one. Look at those solid metal heads, front and back. Oh my God, they don't even have a thing. Oh God, and it's a flat. It comes fucking flat and it's beautiful and perfect and robust and I use these in my car and everywhere else. And look, it's actually six feet long, which might actually reach to a place where you can plug it in. So again, um, Odyssey, include decent fucking wires if you're gonna fucking charge so much. The only wire I don't have a replacement for is this one, which is a three and a half, which is a USB-C to USB-C, which is now plugged into my phone and just went boom. And ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah, oh, yeah! <laughs> gotta get some weeb shit in this. That's not enough weeb shit. And that's enough weeb shit, and those aren't enough weeb shit. We gotta get some fucking original season one ending theme from Konosuba. Now, since it stayed on USB, it did not default back to 3D. So let's talk about 3D now. Now it is time to talk about 3D. I get the fuck up. Linked in the description. Okay. Come here, babies. It's time to have a fucking argument. It's time to yell and get angry. I'm getting angry now at two companies. Uh, Waves, who do the 3D tracking technology on this. And Odyssey, who probably asked Waves really nicely to not update their software and shit. Waves NX. Now, Waves NX is not this. This is simply a Bluetooth head tracker. This look, this no, this has very sensitive gyroscopes in it. You turn it on, a Bluetooth connects to your phone, to an app, or to the computer, to an app, and when you move your head, it can see it. Waves NX is a software suite that you install, and it sits between your sound card, and it knows position of your head, like this does. And you could use either this little dongle thing, which I think I paid 60 or 80 bucks for with a coupon, or you could use face tracking with a go with a fucking cam. What do those cam whores use? Webcam. That's it. That's what cam whores use. And I am so in love with this thing. Just a fucking, I love you. And the way it could do things, and, I, and that's on my L700s, and it's been on my L700 stacks. My top of the line, fuck you, God, because I've taken you out of the sky because I have L700 stacks with me, sort of thing. And they're up here, and it's up here, and it's up here. And let me tell you what it does, and this tracks your motion, so you know it knows when you're doing this, 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 this. And the 3D on this is that built into itself with one thing that they wouldn't add to software. I would have reviewed that a year ago, a year plus ago, and I would have sold 10,000 of them by now. And I would have made Waves NX fucking famous, but no, because they had to make a deal with fucking Odyssey. See, here's the thing that's missing. You, you install the software on your computer, you connect the Bluetooth with this, or use a face cam, you don't even have to buy this, and what it does, what the whole point of the 3D does in this and that, and you can check the sound demo to see a, a demo of it, is it makes it speakers. Bazeelos, that doesn't make any sense. Touche, my friend. Gaming on speakers. The reason I have that fuck, those towers there and that there, and if I was doing sim racing, I played Doom with those speakers, is when you're looking forward at a game, I'm assuming this monitor is here and it's a game, you're looking forward at a game, and there's an enemy right there. You hear it from speakers right there because the speakers are fixed. They don't move. But if you turn your head slightly, and I've done... You, you don't think you, this is going to matter. Trust me. I didn't think it was going to matter, but it fucking matters. You turn your head even slightly like this. And it, with speakers, it's still there. That's still where the sound is coming from. It's still the speakers. These speakers are still telling me that that's where the enemy is because they're not turning with my head. The issue with headphones is you put them on, and if you're looking dead straight, mono comes in, that's where the enemy is. But when you turn your head, even the slightest little bit, the sound of the, of the enemy 
or the anything. It doesn't have to be an enemy. It could be a fucking door. It could be a happy little goat. It could be a fucking whatever the fuck you're fucking in Minecraft. Fuck. Doesn't the sound doesn't come from where the visuals are coming from. So if you turn your head to look down at your desk, it follows you, and now the sound is coming from there. And you're like, well, that's fine. I've lived with games like that forever. But then I put that on my fucking L7 fucking hundreds, and I set up the software, and I set up the circumference of my head, and it's like, all right, we're now going to track your head, and it'll you'll be wearing headphones, but it'll sound like speakers. And that fact that... Oh my god, mob, that direction, there, look, evil, fucking big-titted evil, just right there. Looking at my screen, it's there. If I looked at it with normal headphones, the sound would still be to my right. I'm talking about big monitors and shit like that, but with tracking, with tracking like this has, it fixes speakers, it fixes the sound to a 3D location, it has gyroscopes in it. So, if you turn your head, if you hear her coming from the right, and you turn your head, now the sound is coming from straight in front of you. Oh, yes, God. You cannot imagine how much fun I had playing games and doing shit with that. It was like, yeah, I was driving a fucking car, an R-Factor, and I would turn my head left to look at something, and the sound of the motor going in front of me would now be coming out of the right... It would... Sounds were fixed. Just like if I was using speakers. Not everyone can use speakers. I'm Zeo's Pantera. Of course, I can use speakers. But for everyone else to have that same perfect fixed location was amazing thought to me. Thought. However, the main and only flaw that this system had was the software that had a button. Like, you had to click it to go center. Because here's what happens. This is a very accurate Bluetooth tracker and it tracks you. I'm talking a tenths of degree. If I turn like that, like that's like 0 0.3. It knows exactly how little I'm moving it. It's re remarkable. But after 20 minutes of random head movement, it loses its center and it would float away. So all of a sudden that perfect thing I was talking about where it's perfect, now it's there. And it's like, fuck. And the software didn't have a hotkey to center it. You have to alt tab out of the game, click with a mouse. It wasn't even not like a like a, a to go click center, like to look straight ahead, click center, then switch back to the game, and then you'd have another 10, 15, 20 minutes if you're not doing a lot of movement. But it would always drift. And what the Mobius do is this 3D button has the same modes like that does. You turn it on, and then you click center. You look straight ahead at your monitor, center, and that's where the center of, this, of the audio spectrum is. And it always stays there no matter where you're looking. But it's gonna drift. It's just, it's just gyroscopes are not accurate enough to know unless you had like a visual point that it could reference to. So this has a center button and that doesn't. So if I wanna enjoy that fucking, and it is a joyous thing to have like fake speakers while playing a game, I gotta use the Mobius. I emailed them. I had. I said, look, I've got. I've, I think I had like seventy thousand subscribers then. That's how long ago this was. I've got a ton of subscribers. I'd love to recommend this, but I, it needs in the software a hotkey where I can go Alt A and it'll just center. And they wouldn't add it. And I don't know why they wouldn't add it. And then it realized, oh, because then you wouldn't need to buy the Mobius for that. And I'm sure they're paying a pretty penny to put NX technology in every one of these mobile I. Are they Mobii when there's more than one? Whatever. So the point is, I love the technology. I love, for games, it's fucking amazing. Because again, I'm not a snob when it comes to gaming. When it comes to, I want to have the most fun I can have in gaming. An immersion. And that's, with VR, you don't need it. Because with VR, the monitor is fucking attached to your face. So when you look right, <laughs> the monitor goes with you. So it's always in the center. Hallelujah. The problem without VR is that the fucking monitor is fixed, and unless you have speakers that are fixed, the sound's gonna move with your head. So the, that's what that's what the 3D audio fixes in this, and it fixes it. Is it worth these for just that? I'm gonna link in the description. Future Zeus. Future Zeus. You can go and buy one of these 
trackers, I don't know if they're still for sale or whatever it is, for under 100 bucks. Or if you have a webcam with high refresh rate, point it at your face. The software that makes the NX shit happen is free to download. I think it's $10 to buy it at some point, but it's free to try it. Try it. And here's another thing that the software version has over the Mobius. Mobius is 3D mode, and that's it. The software version of the Waves NX had three different levels. It had uh, vocals, I think it was, vo I th it's been a while, it's been vocal, and then media, and then like theater mode. And it would make the room effect, because when it puts it in 3D, it doesn't just do the shit with the audio, it has to obviously put you in an environment, it has to DSP the entire thing to move sound around. And it would add more or less echo, and you could put it to movie mode, which is basically like a clap, with like ring forever, which in Doom is fine. If the game doesn't have already that sort of echo, you could add it to it. And this only has one. I wish that this was an option for everyone watching this video because then it takes away from like 40% of the reason I'm gonna recommend these headphones. I lo I'm gonna recommend these headphones. Headphones, headset, whatever fuck you wanna call them because they sound good. The controls are actually, as much as I'd wish there was like a balance, like I feel like this is like, give me some buttons over here. Look how many fucking buttons I got over here. And so that's my OCD just kicking in. But for the waves, for the NX tech where you can actually center it, the button, that, just a button that said center. This has a button to turn it on. If you could hit that button and make it center, it would have been fucking fantastic. Ah, oh, I've been taking this shit to lands for two years. And it's great for 20 minutes, and then I got an alt-tab out of whatever game, and then talk about immersion breaking, that's the most breaking you could get. These are a recommendation. I'm recommending them. But, if you want sound quality, straight up, holy shit, shit your pants, Vakla Rups. If you want more tech than is in anything I've ever reviewed, and I mean like anything. Like I don't think there's even a portable player or nothing. A DAC. This has 3D head tracking, multiple EQ setups, Bluetooth, Bluetooth switching, f fucking whatever the hell high res mode is. If you know what high res mode is, please tell me because it shouldn't matter. Um, it, it's got everything. It's got everything. And they still sound good. They're built a little Chinese. They're built a little Chinese, but the drivers aren't. The drivers are Odyssey, straight up fucking planar. Um, music can get a little fatiguing at times, but I think switching it from the from the default e if you switch to the default EQ, it sort of sounds a little darker. And I was basically running flat all the time, which is still my prefer. Even with the little bit of the fatigue from the highs, it's just a closed in planner. You're gonna get some some attack still good oh and music with the um 3d head tracking because as much as i say oh i love playing games with the 3d head tracking i played with music for a long time the doors jim morrison 1960 whatever jim morrison will love to sing out of your left speaker only and the drums play out of the right speaker only and we listen on speakers that's an interesting concept listening on headphones like ooh, it's doors with tracking on, here's a little here's a little caveat that you get to add to the top of this. If you want to look at the drummer in playing the doors, you put on 3D and you turn. And then it goes from there to centered. And then he's singing way to your left and you're staring at the drummer from the doors. And then the vice versa, you turn your head again. Oh, I should also talk about there's a manual and auto mode. And it's the same on the, the phone app for this. Because yes, it'll do that thing and you have to hit center every time. You set it to auto mode instead of it being locked to that point, it just figures out after you've turned your head and then slowly moves the center over. It just constantly, because it knows where it is. So not quite as immersive as when you're just actually hitting center and it's perfectly locked there all the fucking time. But it's nice if it just floats there. And that you can use, if you use this as Bluetooth headphones and you're literally just out and about in a fucking bus and you want to do some cool 3D shit with music on a bus, or you want to play games on your phone, which apparently is a thing people do. I don't know. I'm from the generation Dreamcast. But uh, I don't fucking game on my phone. The phone needs to live so Telegram can exist. 
you can set it to auto. So you can literally walk around in real life with your phone in your pocket playing music, controlling next and last track, and having this 3D spatial audio thing happen. And if you turn the corner on the sidewalk, well, you would you would turn the corner, and slowly it would it would just bring that shit back around, just like that. It's just that's what it does. It does that with the sound. I like it. I, I love the tech. I hate that it's not on this, and I can't just recommend this, this, these, these with this, or those with this. Anything of the fucking auteurs with this would... You can put this tech, tracking tech, on any headphone on Earth. Hell, you could put it on IEMs. All you gotta do is get one of those girly things with the cat ears linked in the description. You know what I'm talking about. It's a little like when you dress up for Halloween, you wear the... the the girls wear it, hold their hair bound, Ber what the hell is it called? I'm not a woman, I don't buy this shit, but it's got to have the cat ears on it. It has to have the cat ears on it so it can, you know, look cute. And then you can stick that fucking tracker on it and wear IEMs and have that shit work with IEMs. Eye signs with that technology, oh, my nipples. Anyway, I think I've um, given these, that's why I'm putting them in the yard sale. That's why these are gonna end up in the yard sale because they have, a bunch of things that I really like, but if I want just a Bluetooth headphone, I'm keeping the M&Os. And if I want to do that crazy headphone tracking shit, I got the adapter already, and I've got fucking stacks. So yes, I do thoroughly enjoy, by the way, here's the case they come in. I do thoroughly enjoy the Odyssey Mobius. I do thoroughly respect. I mean, they had to sort of build them in China. They weren't going to be able to make them in America. It just wasn't going to happen. The sound... They're not like LCD... Well, LCD XCs I didn't like at all. I might like these over LCD XCs. Just pointing that out. But I'm going to be getting the LCD 2Cs soon. In fact, i got to talk to that guy soon. And um, we'll see if those are better than this. Because these are really fucking good. Have I get are these uh, 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 wallpaper in the description? Link to these in both blue and orange on Amazon in the description. Even if they're not available, have fun clicking the link anyway. Link to the replacement wires. Link to waves and X shit. Link to the adapters. Link to wires to replace these stupid wires. And links to my Patreon where you'll be able to purchase these come next month. Whatever month this is, next month you may buy. By my site. I'm going to sign it. People ask me to sign shit all the time. I'd probably do like Auto Z. Oh my God. It starts with Z. -E. I would just add an O and an S there. And that would be how I'd sign that. Any other questions? Ask them in the comments. If you think I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. You want to have a fight? I'll see you, like, I don't know. Meet me in Vegas. You want to fight? I'll see you at CES. Maybe. I don't know if I want to go to see us. Anyway, wallpaper. Be a best, worst girl. Worst, best girl? In the description. And links and Patreon and good night.